What's going on guys, it's Tyler here. Today I want to talk about the most simple and inexpensive way to do hydroponics right in your backyard, Kratky Hydroponics. Kratky Hydroponics is really simple. All it is is a non-circulating hydroponic system such as this bin or any type of nutrient reservoir where plant roots are suspended in a nutrient rich solution and there's no circulation. This kind of started out as an experiment. I wanted to see if I could have a hydroponic standalone garden that didn't have any electricity, didn't have to rely on much maintenance and it, it did that. Any bin or tub will work. All I did was drill some one and seven eighths inch holes in this bin and I put two inch net pots with plants in each one and I literally have done nothing since. I actually purchased this bin at Costco for $7 to do another crack key backyard hydroponic system. Black, no light's gonna get through here. Uh, pretty much gonna be like a $10 garden. This has been going for about six weeks now and I think I fertilized it the first week, filled it with water, and I haven't touched it since. I wanted to grow crops that didn't require much nutrients, so you see I have some romaine lettuce here, cilantro, parsley, basil, thyme, oregano, dill, just in an herb garden. But when these plants are mature, it'll be pretty sweet. All my really frequently used herbs will be right in this bin. It is literally the least maintenance I've ever done while growing vegetables. Let's talk about a few of the concerns that I had when I started this that didn't turn out to be an issue. First of all, I was worried about inclement weather. We actually had a pretty severe thunderstorm last week, including some hail. You can see my lettuce leaves have a few holes in them from the hail, but rainwater doesn't affect the level inside this bin. A very negligible amount of rainwater gets in here. It's not gonna affect anything. If it does get in there, maybe it'll help you out a little bit. There's no air pump in this bin. Now there's no doubt that an air pump and an air stone in this container is going to help you guys get more uniformity in your nutrient solutions and more oxygen to your roots. But again, I didn't want to rely on any electricity for this system, so I don't have one. And the plants are doing just fine. One thing I recommend is make sure that there's an air space between the bottom of your rock wool cube and your nutrient solution. That way the plant can get some kind of natural oxygen from the air. My water temperature might fluctuate too much. So I thought this was gonna be a big deal in the beginning. I actually started this when it was in the middle of like an 80 degree week. And I thought the water was gonna to get too warm for my seedlings and it never happened. I think if you had a transparent container, it would. But if you have a container like this that doesn't allow the sunlight in, I think it'll be just fine. I was surprised at how cool the water actually remained when it was really hot outside. In regards to temperature, however, when I did start this, we were experiencing periods of low temperatures at night and warm during the day, probably in like the high 50s at night, and it really slowed my seedlings down. So if you can start them somewhere where it's warm and get them bigger uh, before you put them in here, it'll help you. So guys, I can't stress this enough. If you're considering doing hydroponics, start with this. Maintenance on this thing is so low. I'm out here every day watering my soil garden right next to it. I don't even touch this and it's fine. There's no weeds. It is awesome. So definitely look into Kratky Hydroponics for your backyard. Should be just fine. 